One of the big betting races of the weekend is, of course, the John Smith's Cup, which takes place at York at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Nick, you're siding with Midtar here. He ran really, really well at Ascot, and he's got a good draw. Draw in seven. Yeah, I mean, I do have my reservations about the horse. I, you know, he has got the ability to win one of these, and that's essentially why I'm sticking with him. Um, you do wonder if he has slightly become one of these horses that's always well-touted for races mm -hmm. like this, big handicaps, and just doesn't quite deliver. But he hasn't yet done enough for me to dissuade me from sticking with him a couple more times. And I'm definitely going to be with him this weekend because I think he's got plenty in his favour. Um, soft ground won't be a problem for him. Um, he's been running very well, ran a superb race at Ron Ascot last time. And I think you can upgrade the performance a little bit because he's always doing a little bit too much in the early part of the race. He pulled quite hard, um, pulled too hard really uh, for his own good. Um, but still has only beaten half a length by Gatewood at the line. Gatewood, a very, very good up-and-coming horse. Um, so it's a very good run. And I assume that's why they're going for the first time hood, just to try and help him settle a little bit. And Luca Kamani has a good record in the race. He's got Dana Dana in there, um, who won the Red Car Cup well, but another that might not like the ground. Yeah, again, I think, I think Kumani's you know, been on record as saying that he's, he's slightly concerned about the, the conditions at the weekend. Um, it's a familiar refrain, isn't it? We're back talking about the yeah. weather again. But, um, yeah, I mean, on form, Dan O'Donoghue's got a good chance. But, uh, you know, like you said, he might have been compromised by the by the ground. Any, any lively outsiders? Anything for a bit of value each way? No, I'm just going for one. I'm going for Mitchell because I think he'll win. All uh, right. So that's Mitchell <laughs> to win the John Smith's Cup at York.